Hey boys and girls, today you are going to be making a bursting heart for Veterans Day. So to get started, you are going to draw a heart in the middle of your page. And I want your heart to be pretty big. So you want it to take up most of the page, but not the whole thing. And you can sketch it out a few times. If you're not happy with your heart the first time, you have an eraser. So go ahead and erase and make sure that you're happy with it. And then from your heart, you're going to draw some lines. The lines can be straight, they can be zigzag, they can be wavy, they could be castle lines. However you wanna make your lines is completely fine. This is your bursting heart, so do what you want with it. All right, I think I'm going to mimic what I did there. Do some zigzags here. Wavy line here. And then a castle line here. Okay, and once you're done, your heart should have lines coming out from, you know, every side of it, every angle. Then you can get your paint. And we're gonna be painting this with red, white, and blue. So you can paint your heart either red, white, or blue. Totally up to you. I'm going to start, I think I'm gonna do a blue heart. So you're gonna just paint your heart blue. Just like so. Like I said, it doesn't have to be blue, it can be white, it could be red, but paint in the whole heart first. Once your heart is painted, you are going to do a different design in each section that you created with your lines. So I'm gonna wash off my paintbrush and I'm gonna show you just some examples of what you can do. Um, so I'm gonna start here and I'm going to do some stripes of red and white. So I'm gonna do some stripes of red first. And even though the paper is white, it is, it does kind of make it look prettier when you actually add some white paint in between the lines of red. So I'll be doing that. I'm gonna finish my red stripes here. It kind of looks like an American flag now. You can see that, right? All right, make sure you wash your brush between paints. So I'm washing off my brush now. And I'm gonna add in some white paint in between my red stripes here. And as you can see, like some of the edges will mix with the red paint and it kind of just, it just adds a detail to it that you wouldn't have if you didn't use the white paint, even though I know the paper is white. Seems a little bit silly, but it really does just make it look a little more interesting. Okay. And I forgot a little red spot there, so I'm going to add that in. Red and white. Okay, and don't worry about it if you go into your heart a little bit. Um, we're gonna go back with some black paint and outline everything. In the next section, you're gonna pick something else to do. So I'm going to paint this next section red, and the easiest way to do that is just to outline it first. So I'm following that zigzag line I, I did here, and then I'm gonna follow this wavy line I did here. And I'm gonna paint the whole thing in red. And then once I have it all painted red, I'm gonna add in some white dots just to make it interesting. Okay, once you're done, again, rinse your paintbrush off, dry it off with your paper towel, and I'm just gonna dab on some white. Okay. This next section here, I'm gonna paint white. So this is kind of nice if you make mistakes. No one's really gonna see it if you don't paint every single section of it. But you're gonna see why you want this white paint down if you decide to do fireworks, which is what I'm gonna do here. Paint everything white all the way to the edge of the paper from the castle line. And I'm gonna do some blue fireworks, so I'm gonna dip my paintbrush in the blue, and I'm gonna dab it on, okay? And I'm gonna dab like that. And you're gonna see how like it kind of mixes with the paint to create firework, just like that. I think this one's my favorite. And you have to have that white paint down or else it won't turn out like this. You can also do a different kind of firework that kind of looks like a flower by just painting a bunch of lines that go in a circle just like that. So I'm going to do that here. And here I'm not putting down any white paint. 
I still could, but I'm not going to here. So it's a different style of firework, but still kind of looks like fireworks. And I'm going to add in some blue dots around that too. Just because. You guys can do your designs however you want to. This is just to give you some ideas. Okay, boys and girls, so now I've finished my entire paper. As you can see, every section has a different design on it. And what you're going to do is clean your paintbrush off really, really well, and you're going to outline everything in black paint. Um, so what I mean by everything is everything that you started with in pencil. So I'm going to get my black paint, and I'm going to go around the heart, and this is going to kind of fill in any of those maybe white spaces that you missed while you were painting because you were trying to be careful not to get, you know, the blue paint mixed with the red paint. Um, but it's also going to help that heart stand out, really make it look, you know, beautiful and important. And then you're going to do the same thing with your lines. So following the lines I did, just going over it with black paint. So I'm going to do this on every part of my paper. And boys and girls, once I have it all outlined, I'm all done. So I'm gonna place this on the drying rack, but I wanted to give you a final look of what it looks like when you're all done after you've outlined everything in black. I hope you guys have fun with this, um, and I'm really excited for you to give them to the veterans in your lives. Have fun.